and he is the reigning world youth champion. It's Bam Bam Bradley his opponent from Stockport, England, the world number 10, a two-time world championship semi-finalist and a former UK Open champion, it's the ESP, Nathan Espinel! Two of the best young smiles in the game. And these two know each other inside out. But what will we get right here as we welcome back to the European Tour? Nathan Aspinall. As far as his 2021 is concerned, I think you'd have to ask him how he feels about it because three semi finals over the course of the year, one, of course, in the Premier League, the other two in the first two players championships a little bit too early paul i think oh, 131 we have to put some euro pop on tomorrow getting ready for the final day here in budapest which is going to welcome over 4000 fans tonight is going to be good as well but before we get there, this could be very good, if anything, from Bradley Brooks' first game is to go by, because that Adrian Lewis game last night was phenomenal. As was that from Nathan Aspinall. Yeah, he held himself together really well last night, Bradley. It was a little bit of the old Adrian last night. I know you don't like to keep saying that, the old Adrian, you know, but... It, he put in a decent performance last night, Adrian, and he did oh, miss opportunities. Ball. It could have been Adrian up there today, but Bradley held his nerve, and he's up there having another go. That dart, I'm afraid, is just a little bit hanging in. He's had to move. Now he can switch. Sensible stuff. That was a risky 96. second dart because mm. it was a bit dangly. But Aspinall looking at double 18 to start off with an 11 daughter. Welcome back, Nathan. Nathan Aspinall. Come on, that's so much more than that. Game on. He hit that 11 daughter, and Snow White didn't even see the double 18. <laughs> 96. Like you say, Nathan's had a bit of a quiet time just of late, Paul, but he is a class act. You know, we've said it before and we've heard it so many times before. 60. He lost his tour card. He worked extremely hard, got his tour card back. First year he was watching the UK Open with his granddad. Following the year he come back and won it. And runner up in the Premier League, like you say, US Darts master. Um, you know, I was looking, Paul, I think he's played oh, either the semis or the quarters of every PDC major. That's a nice little, nice little thing to have that, I think. Yeah, I think there's a, a few Safety. players out there who can say that they've over made... Over the years, that is, over the years. Yeah, they've yeah. made the last eight of most of the majors, and they classified that as saying, I'm, I'm pretty good at different disciplines. Set play, match play, double start, set play. There are so many different ways that we play the game in the majors, but the 1-6-2 oh, just missed by Bradley Brooks to leave himself on for the rub, cross 3 or 2. Aspinall has been finding this 60 with ease so far in this game. Not going to talk about his average yet because it's too early for that, but I'm liking what I'm seeing. 
Yeah, he's a confidence player, Nathan. And Bradley is still a young Sydney, lad. He's got a little bit of experience, 70. but Nathan's one of them players. I think he can go up there. He knows Bradley's game quite well. Yeah, shot the second leg. Nathan. He cleans up the 70. Third leg is Nathan dark. to throw first. Game on. Do you feel, Paul, that he's going to go up there and try and bully a little bit? I'm not calling him a bully, but he's thinking to himself, I'm here right now. I'm one of the boys to beat. And you're not going to oh, get away with it. Nice. I get the feeling that Nathan Aspinall hasn't felt that way for a while. And mm. maybe sometimes it's better the devil you know than the devil you don't. And maybe this is the kind of game that Aspinall can get his teeth into. He knows no matter what he does, he's not going to upset Bradley Brooks. No. But... He can go after him, and Bradley will respect him for that. Yeah. No, but fair fine. play to Bradley, who comes back with his own maximum at the start of this leg. He is, without a doubt, tenacious, this young lad from Blackburn. Really? Very proud of being from Lancashire, as yep. he should be. Yeah. Aspinall on 267 has made things a little bit tricky for himself with that treble one. But look at that. Oh, Created the angle from the left side and didn't go for the open portion. He went to bash it into the existing 60. Yeah. And boy, did that work well. well I'd just like to oh, tell you, Paul, that young Bradley's averaging 96. Nathan is averaging 119.91. Oh, I just well, it always helps when you start with two legs completed in 25 darts, I guess. Yeah. But... You might get a second consecutive 14 data. Oh, Superb pressure nine. applied Mid by Bradley. But well, the World Youth Champion is in early bother here. Double 16. Yeah, this is perfect leg. stuff Nathan from Aspinall. Well, and his Bradley average right now of 115 Game is very impressive. I think that players like Aspinall crave Ford. noise. Yeah. There used to be a time when players really wanted silence yeah. when it came to playing their darts. Aspinall likes these places bouncing. Yeah, he was he was one of the first ones, Paul, that turned around and said, I can't uh, wait 82. for the crowd to be back. I don't like playing without a crowd. He loves the noise. Yeah, he's gesturing the crowd, come on, let's have a bit of noise. And he, he, he's not doing that. You know, some people won't think he's doing that to put Bradley on his front. It's just, he's thinking of himself a little bit. He just wants to drive his own adrenaline up and keep keep this momentum going and perhaps Paul do you know what last night he probably saw the performance of Bradley Brooks last oh, night against Adrian, and thought, do you know what I've got to be on my toes a little bit tomorrow and he's certainly on his toes very much so and you see that perfect right angle of that right forearm right upper arm of Bradley Brooks it's a somewhat uncomfortable side on technique but it is repetitive, oh, and from a lines perspective, if his follow through is nice and straight, look at that. Beautiful punctuation with the throw at the end. Nice flexible wrist. Yeah, Why is the World Youth Champion? Good technique. Yeah. And that win against Joe Davis in that final last year, he needed courage and he needed belief because he only just got over the line in the end. Oh, he was tested six. to the hilt. Yeah, very much so. Very much so. It's tested here with Aspinall on a finish after 12 again Bradley Brooks puts the pressure on but it almost seems like Aspinall is one visit ahead and it could be another 14 daughter he'll take 15 yeah, and he does take a 15 for a 4-0 lead and you might have to think that Nathan Aspinall feels bulletproof against Bam Bam because he's played him three times previously in games that we can find because I'm sure they've played each other in local tournaments in the northwest region but Nathan Aspinall has never lost to Bradley well oh, this is a funny sport you've played on the European tour and many other tournaments where you play multiple games in a weekend or a day you can have a massive high like last night for Bradley but if you come up against someone who is playing flawlessly like yeah. Nathan Aspinall is that high can disappear really quickly. Yeah, it can do. Bradley's just got, he's just got to keep his head here a little bit. You know, it, Paul, he's not putting in a bad performance. 
And as much as you might beat yourself up a little bit, you know, he's not playing oh, bad. Not. You know, it's just that he's, like you say, he's up against a guy who's who's on it. And we keep saying as the day goes on, you know, he wants to set a benchmark oh, to say to everyone, right, come on. This, this is what I'm capable of doing this weekend. Who's going to come along and play with me? And he's done some fabulous things in the game that you've mentioned, like Easy winning things. in Vegas, like winning at Minehead, two very different places. Yeah. But Budapest, if he can win here, it will be his first oh, European oh. Tour crown. Making and that really would relight the fire for the world number 10. Well, 130. He's got his name written all over it. Doesn't have to go the bull route if he gets a 60. That made his mind up right there. That was a violent collision with the flight. The flight has almost capitulated. So if Bradley can stick in, if he can hit a 1-3-3 three, three here, he's put a bit of pressure on Nathan. and I think he's going to hit the 1-3-3, three, three, oh, which he do he does. Three. For a moment, I thought he was going to get the 1-7-1 one 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 to leave double one. <laughs> Single 20. Oh. Single 20. That may be the first 40. mistake he's made in the Bradley entire match. 40. And maybe that's what Bradley needed. Double ten. Still got to hit it. Well done, Bradley. Bradley. You were given the opportunity, first. and you have now got yourself in the match. And that is a break of throw. So, game on now. Game on. I think a change of flight is needed by Aspinall after the other one. Yeah. But it's wrist slapped. Yeah. Sometimes, Paul, you know, you know yourself. You've you've played the game as I have. Sometimes, when you're you're playing so well, eighty-one. A little bit of laziness from Nath there. He knows he's playing well, and he. I, I think he just thought to himself, "Well, I'll just throw this dart. If it hits the treble twenty, double five. Other than that, it's going to go in the twenty, and I've got a dart at the ball." So he just took his eye off the off the target there a little bit, and. Oh. Uh, like you said, hit the flight, and uh, unfortunately, never got another shot. You can see the angle of entry here for Nathan Aspinall, who delivers a 180 for us. That is perfect stuff from the Asp. He finds five treble 20s with his first six dots of the leg. Again, Bradley Brooks not playing poorly, leaving 224 off the nine, but this is Aspinall re-firing. After a bit of a stutter Easy one. in leg number five. Look on the bright side there, Nathan. You're still on a two data. And Brooks has got to get himself two trebles here to worry that position. 96. Bare Maybe minimum, one, really. 100. Well, he's left to finish. So Nathan will be thinking to himself, right, let's clean up this tops. And for the sick bag. Which he has. Nathan, wow. Another so 11 data. Had Good. one in leg one. Gets one in leg six. In between them, two 14s and a 15. I think it was the great John Gwynn that once oh, said, that's how you play darts, folks. <laughs> Never a true word spoken when you see darts like this. Could be the best performance of the week so far. Oh, and if he gets it done here, whether it's 6-1 or 6-something else, mm. then it's over to the likes of Snakebite, MBG, what Price. Yep. and some others and he will say follow that lads yeah but of all the games tonight the oh, I look forward to no game I am looking forward to more than Hetter against Whitlock so much to talk about so much to possibly think about in that game but look at that from Nathan Aspinall 83% and if he gets one more shot at a double and takes it, he will equalise the percentage registered by Louis Williams earlier of around 86%. No, Nothing that Bradley Brooks has done in this game has been good enough to worry the Aspinall position. And that's not a bad thing for Bradley, because this is almost a teaching experience. Yeah, this, this is as if Nathan's got, uh, I think he must have a dinner reservation for five o'clock, and he wants to go back and have a shower, a quick shower as well. Either that or his, uh, his bus is due. <laughs> I think he can afford a taxi. But he doesn't need a taxi. How much he wanted to finish it right there. 51. Yeah. Bradley with 114. Now, is Bradley going to go south here? 
45 ball. Bullseye. Oh, that would have been a special take. But Aspinall, the 15 seed, has shown us the way. 20 for double 18. Wow, that's a miss. 24. He did not expect that, Lodi. I was surprised he went that way, to tell you the truth. So am I. Very surprised. Big, big dart now for Bradley. Yeah, this is huge. 13. Just had a bit of a hesitation there before that double six. And Aspinall gets another shot for the match. He doesn't miss this time. That was very, very good indeed. 101.68. And I hasten to say it. It could have been so much better than that. But as far as a foundation for the tournament is concerned, that is worrisome for the rest of the field because the ASP looks very, very decent. We've got so much to come tonight. We are not finished in Budapest by any stretch of the imagination. We are going to start with Johnny Clayton against Adam Gablas. And Joe Cullen, the number one seed, follows that against the Voss. Then it's Hetter Whitlock and many, many more. Let's get a word with Nathan Aspinall after that 6-1 victory over Bradley Brooks. And for the asset Nicholson, he was and the third round. We'll be back later. Nathan Aspinall we'll see found a lot of friends here in Hungary. Nathan, fantastic performance. 104 average roundabout. You must be well pleased. Yeah, definitely. Um, I've, I've been struggling recently. Um, and my girlfriend, Kirsty, she said, start practicing. I've, I became lazy. Uh, it's, an ama it's amazing what practice does. Uh, I've had two... I've worked really hard the last two weeks and I played really well today. Uh, crowd, fantastic. Um, what an arena, by the way. Fantastic venue. Um, but yeah, very happy to win against a, a tough opponent. Brad's a fantastic player, he's got a great future. Um, he had a great win against Aidy yesterday, um, but he's 20. Uh, he's got a fantastic future. Great lad, great kid, uh, nice guy as well. So. You know, well done to him, uh, but obviously it's about me, and uh, I've had a great win today, and uh, yeah, look forward to tomorrow. Well, tomorrow there's even going to be more people here. Yeah, you really got them going here. Yeah, you really got them going. I've missed it. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, that, darts is all about the fans, and the fans make darts, and the European Tour is amazing. You know, I, I, I love playing the European Tour to the crowd, wherever you go, Germany, Holland, Austria, Hungry, uh, wherever you go, <laughs> it's fantastic. And uh, you know these guys have, have paid the money, and you know we're here to put a show on for him. So you know, hopefully you're all here tomorrow. And uh, yeah, fantastic crowd. And uh, yeah, let's have it. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, into the last 16. VS from Nathan Aspinall.